Kill that urge to be chosen. Choose yourself. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy, aka Kimmy Books, and today I am doing a bookshelf tour. I have gotten a lot of people telling me that they wanted one. I've never really watched any. I've watched one, but that was a couple months ago. So this is going to be new for the both of us. I'm just going to be going by shelf. A lot of them are based on feeling. So it's really not too organized. It's just organized up here. Like I know what is on every single shelf. So yeah, we're going to go shelf by shelf. I can't freaking wait. Also, I've been crocheting this new hat and it is so pretty, guys. I can't wait to show you guys what it's done. It's like one of those cat hats. I don't know how to, I don't know why I did this. It's literally just, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I am too short to show my face here, but this is the stack of books that doesn't fit in my bookshelf. So I have <laughs> a whopping six copies of Bloodmark, not too much on me. This is the ARC and this is a UK edition with sprayed edges. The UK edition with sprayed edges. I love it so, so much. And that is my only copy of Legendborn. I gave my other one away to my cousin so she could read it and she literally has not returned it. So there's that. Um, here are my, I have like four copies of this book, but here are the two I like the most of uh, Before I Let Go, which I'm reading next month. I can vlog that experience if you guys want me to. One of my favorite books of last year, Restore Me by J.L. Seegers. This is the new cover. You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hoggle and Forever Wild, which is like a little novella, which goes in between the wild series, which I'll introduce to you guys down here. Okay, everyone knows I predominantly read romance. So this is literally, the entire bookshelf is romance. But right here specifically are books that I got very, very early on. Like all of these books were on my very first bookshelf. So, well, most of them actually. So this is a marriage trilogy by Sarah Desai. Um, they're all like brown romances and I absolutely love them down. And then we have Helen Huang, which are all Asian romances. Um, you know, The Kids Question, The Bride's Test, and The Heart Principle. These are all three in the same series. Then another copy of You Deserve Each Other because that's one of my favorite romance books. We have The X Talk by Rachel and Solomon. Oop, how did I skip over it? We have The Honeymooners by Christina Lauren. Now, I read this book like two years ago, but it was one of the very first romance books I read and I absolutely loved it. Then we have The X-Talk by Rachel and Sullivan, which is so good. Um, I really like Rachel and Sullivan. She's one of my favorite authors of all time. Then we have like a third of my Jasmine and Guillory collection. I love Jasmine and Guillory. She's just like the coolest person ever. Um, and so I had to put some of them away because I did have to make room for like newer books that were coming. Um, and then I have a Sarah Dustin book. I have not read this one yet. It was gifted to me. Um, Counting Down With You. I loved it when it came out by Tashi. Love you, Tashi. Um, we have Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter. I recommend this all the time. Then we have two more books by, Ra three more books by Rachel Lynn Sullivan. Um, these are all amazing reads, by the way, and all of them have a Jewish main character. And then we have an Emily Henry book, People We Meet On Vacation, Book of the Month. Um, edition because I work for book of the month or with book of the month I should say and then another Jasmine Guillory book that I thrifted. I like to call this shelf my first year on book talk era okay and so this was Marriage for One by Ella Mays. I'm not gonna pull it out. You all see how it's coming out like two books at once girl mm -mm, stay back there. I was actually gifted this book by the author herself on Amazon and this is the original Spanish Love Deception before she signed to Atria I was also gifted this book. It was super cool. And then we had the Brown Sisters trilogy. Y'all, I can make an entire other video on this trilogy. I love it so, so much. This is a new addition to the shelf. Um, so it's like my second year on Book Talk, but it had to go right in here because I needed to see it every single day because I love it oh so much. Then we have the entire Addicted series by KBR. I actually met them <laughs> last year. All of these are signed. These are the deluxe dig um, editions. I'm not showing the covers because they're very hideous, but this series means a lot, a lot, a lot to me. And then we have the duology with Willow and Garrison. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Y'all don't understand, these books right here, so good. I have not read these two, but I will get to them. Um, but it's part of the like Circus Amor Amor series. It's pretty low key compared to the other series that I've written, but it's all intertwined in the same universe. I like to call this my obsession shelf. I pretty much obsessed over all of these books for a good chunk of my life. Um, we have all the Bergman Brothers series uh, books. 
except for the new one that's coming out because Chloe Lisa just dropped the teaser and snippet for the sixth book in this series. It's so good. It's one of my favorites. Then we have my Emily Henry Shrine. I actually got gifted. Let me see if I can find it. I got gifted this copy by my very good friend Lomi. She, she put a personal note in here. This was my birthday gift and she got it signed by Emily Henry herself and <laughs> Lomi. I love her so much and it's annotated to the brim. She has amazing annotations in here and Spotify links and everything. It's one of my favorite things of all time. She also did the same thing with Beatry. She annotated it to the core and this one is also signed by Emily Henry. I cried when I got these two. I couldn't believe it. She's just such an amazing, beautiful person. Um, so I love you long time, Lomi. And then I have my people we meet on vacation um, books. And then I have the Wild series by K.A. Tucker, Forever Wild. It didn't have enough space because I had to add Daisy Hates in there. Um, but I put it up here. But this series is so good. It's a small town romance in Alaska. And it's so like, it's so immersive. I love it oh so much. I actually couldn't put Daisy in here, but I have the entire Magnolia Parks series right here. Y'all know how much I love them. Then I have Confessions of an Alleged Good Girl and Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry by Joy Goffney. These books owned me last year. I absolutely love them. I reread this one twice and I keep going back to my comfort chapters in this one. And then we have the amazing, the amazing Real by Kennedy Ryan. This book is amazing. Like, I'm telling y'all right now, it's so good. It's so emotional. It's so raw. They have black leads. And I don't know, like, it's just the right amount of everything you would need in a romance book. I like to call this shelf my chaotic shelf. It has so much going on. Nothing is like continuous. <laughs> but I have Ivy by Willa Nash. I have not gotten to this one yet, but I can't wait to read it. I have The Bluff and the Bribe, which are two of my favorite books in the Calamity series. They're small town romances. Tattered, another Daphne Perry book, which is the first book in her Lark Hope series. Indigo Ridge and Juniper Hill. I need to get Jasper Vale. I wasn't the biggest fan of Garnet Flat, so I don't think I'll own that one, but I loved these two so much. And then The Candle Palace, which is an, another series of hers. Then we have Lauren Asher's books, Terms and Conditions and The Fine Prince. Absolutely love these. We have all Ella Maisie's cartoon cover books. I'm not gonna move these out of place because it gets a little crazy. And then we have another edition. I, I basically had all of these in hardback up there, but these are all paperback. So today, tonight, tomorrow, see yesterday, and then better than the movies. Um, this is the reprint. I have the original before she reprinted them and had like the yellow covers. Like I have the blue covers. Um, and then the do over, which is amazing. And then the Berkeley editions of Addicted to You. And I have Kiss the Sky, but the pretty version because I had the deluxe version and I got gifted this. I have the amazing, beautiful sprayed edges edition of Anna and the French Kiss. That's one of my favorite things. And then, and then I have Long Shot, Block Shot, and Hook Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Haven't gotten to these books yet, but I do plan on reading them in February. So if you guys want a vlog, I can do that. Getting a little low here, guys. Okay, so this is my dark romance shelf, if you can't tell. I have the entire Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. I love Sophie Lark. As you can see, literally more than half of the shelf is Sophie Lark. And I have a couple other books that aren't on the shelf by her, but she is phenomenal. So I have the Sinner No Saints duet. Um, I have the entire Kingmaker series. And um, then I have the th first three books. I do have the finisher of the dark first but it didn't fit on the shelf i need to redo my bookshelves because this author is an author i'm no longer supporting so i do need to get rid of these books but i've had them on the shelf for so long and i've been so lazy to touch the shelf for like the last couple of months that i just flipped it around so i couldn't promote their books anymore um then we have sierra simone the center series um very interesting and then max monroe i actually don't know if this is dark romance but because the spine was black i was like why not i needed something else to fill this space i would like to call this shelf my influenced by social media shelf most if not every single book on this shelf i only got because of social media <laughs> funny you should ask by lee sisman this book is so good guys american royalty is phenomenal and look at that cover oh my gosh look at that cover it's so pretty we have a love in the time of serial killers which is also a good listen it wasn't my absolute favorite but it was something that's a fast time i listened to the audiobook while i also physically read the Atria version of Spanish Self-Deception, 
the unexpected fail i actually have not read this yet i was gifted this by my dear friend razin i love you girl and then i have the first two books in the love light farm series which are amazing charming as a verb which is a ya black romance i'm absolutely i love that book so much the cheat sheet definitely a book another black romance the romantic agenda but i have not gotten to it i plan on reading it pretty soon um archer's voice which i also have not gotten to but it's everywhere on social media so i do need to get to it then we have oh my gosh the vip series i don't have the last book on the shelf but i do have it i just don't know where it is i don't know where my mind put it like i literally don't know but these this series is very very good i got gifted these books by corin michaels and i'm planning on going on a corin michaels binge because i've been meaning to like get into them um, and then I have the Atlas 6, the OG cover of the Atlas 6 and Alone With You in the Ether. I'm going to sell these later on in my life to pay for my daughter's college fund if I have a daughter because these are never being printed again with these covers. So they're very limited, very pure to me. Um, then I have the Love Radio. I have like <laughs> four copies of this, but I've given them away to a good family. And then I got gifted all the Lore Olympus um, books. So... I just put them on the shelf because they have pretty spines. Okay, I call this shelf my pink shelf. I love how pretty this shelf is. So they're all romance books. I'm not gonna go into specifics because I actually have not read a lot of the books on this shelf, but I will say Starry Eyes is one of my favorite books of all time. I recommend this book to anybody with a pulse. It's a YA, um, how do I put this? Friends to lovers to enemies. No, friends to best friends, to lovers, to enemies. And then they live like across the street from one another. And then it's to lovers again. This is a happy ending, but it's so good. And it's like a campfire theme thing. It's it's very interesting. Um, and then we obviously have like Love on the Brain. Wedding Crash was so good, guys. And just a lot of goodies on this shelf. But I do need to get to lauren lane's book and i definitely definitely want to touch the roommate very soon oh yeah and made in manhattan oh y'all see this this is why i can't oh my gosh i i like this book a lot it's good on audio this is my random shelf i actually don't even know everything going on in the shelf i have read a good chunk of this shelf though if you can see my good girl's guide to murder collection over there i have a couple more books in the series i love it so much They're actually on the next shelf that's like my murder mystery shelf that we're about to get into but the bromance book club series is so good guys oh my goodness and i've been meaning to read the dead romantics but i do want to listen on it I, I do want to listen to The Dead Romantics on audio because I think that I'm going to enjoy that experience a little more. Here is my murder mystery shelf. I can't wait to have some more because I have a lot more murder mysteries. And then excuse Ricochet, it's so random. I don't understand what it's doing there. Maybe I just needed to put it on the shelf. But literally, these books are everything to me. Well, obviously, this doesn't fit that too. Like, let's just look from here. I need to change my shelf, as we can tell. But this series is my holy grail. If you like Criminal Minds, Think about Criminal Minds with Teenagers. That's exactly what the series is. It's so good. Obviously, we have our Karen McManus shrine. I do have her next book, Nothing More to Tell, but it is not over here. Um, so yeah. Bottom shelf right here is my like YA shelf. I love it so much. Obviously, we have the entire Percy Jackson series. The Heroes of Olympus series does not have matching spines or like sizes because I was getting these books before I started any book social media. So I was getting them off like Book Depository and Thrift Books, where I didn't I didn't really care if the spines matched. I just wanted the books, so I got them. Then we obviously, obviously have the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series, another copy of love radio we have the inheritance games the first two books i didn't like how the series ended so i'm not getting the last book ace of spades and then my graphic novels i have a little more graphic novels than that but i have a misplaced around like my room so there's that thank you guys so much for watching my bookshelf tour i have put a lot of thought into this ever since i did this i'm gonna redo all my bookshelves not all of the shelves i will reorganize them but a good chunk of the shelves because i did have two more i just did not want to show because they were a bit messy, but I do want to get into it. Um, and maybe I'll make a video. If you guys want to see it, I can make that a video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really don't know if I did that right. I hope it was enough. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any more videos or anything specific you guys want to see, please leave the comments down below. Please follow me on all my other socials. I'm pretty active on them. And I hope you have an amazing day.
probably when you're not looking, you'll find someone who reads the same books or listens to the same music or likes to trash the same movies.